Hey, what's up guys? John McLennan here, and in today's lesson, I'm gonna show you how to play Key to the Highway by Eric Clapton and B.B. King. This song has been recorded by a lot of artists. We're gonna look at that version off the album Riding with the King with, of course, the great Eric Clapton and B.B. King. It's an awesome album, you should check it out. To play this song, we just need three chords. It's a simple blues in the key of A. We're gonna use the chords A7, D7, and E7. And it's an eight bar blues. A lot of people talk about the 12 bar blues on YouTube. A lot of blues songs use the 12 bar form, but this is a little twist on the blues. It's an eight bar blues, so it's a really good one to practice. Let me play one time through the progression for you so you can hear how it sounds. Here it goes. Three, four. We're going to start out with the A chord, and for each chord we're actually going to play a little blues rhythm part. That's just a typical blues figure that's going to represent each chord. So for A7, we're going to play the open A string, and then the first finger on the second fret of the D string. We've got these two notes together, and in this blues figure, this is the root of the chord and the fifth. You could think of this as a root fifth to the root sixth sort of sound like this. So I've got open A and then the second fret on the D string. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our third finger down and it's going to replace that second fret on the D string. We're going to play the fourth fret on the D string. So we're going to rock back and forth between two and four like this. One and two and three. And I'm using a little bit of palm muting. I like playing these blues rhythm patterns using palm muting. It sounds the best to me that way. One and two and three and four and. That's gonna be our A or our one chord in the blues. Then we're gonna move to the E. And what we're gonna do is just bring that figure up one string. So now we're gonna play low E in the second fret of the A string. Then we're going to drop two strings and go to the D chord. We're going to play the open D string and the second fret on the G string. So the first three bars are A, 2, and 3, and 4, and switch to E. Then to D. Now D is going to go twice for two bars. So that's our first four bars. We're halfway through the progression. Then we go back to A, then to E, and then again, A to E. So the last four bars are basically A for a bar, E for a bar, A for a bar, E for a bar. Now what I like to play in the last two bars so bars seven and eight, I like to play a turnaround figure, which sounds like this. So what that is, is the open A string, then I play the second fret on the G string, then I play the third fret of the low E string, and I keep going back to this second fret on the G string. So it's open, two, three, two, then I play two on the low E string to two on the G string, one, and then the second fret, and then open E. So this is like every other note, right? Hear that? Then when I get to the, when I get to the low E, play the open E string and go. So open E, then I move to the D string and play zero, one, two. Then if you want, you can put down the E7 chord as a turnaround chord to take us back to the top. This E7 is open, two, open, one, 
open, open. So you've got the turnaround figure. start again. So let me play one time through this eight bar blues. Here we go. One, two, and three, and four, and E, D for two bars, then to A, then to E, back to A, to E. Okay, I'm going to play it one more time. Back to the top. I'm going to play the turnaround figure this time. In the last two bars. Here it goes. A7. There you go, guys. That's how to play rhythm on Key to the Highway, the B.B. King and Eric Clapton version. Try it out along with the recording and work on that blues shuffle. If you're interested in playing some lead over this, like what I did at the beginning of this video, click the link in the description. I've got a free PDF just for you for checking out this video. It's over 100 pages long, all about soloing. It's a book I wrote called Melodic Expressions. You can get that for free in the link below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We've got new videos dropping every day, and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. We'll see you in another lesson real soon.